Here I have a customer's HP stream and there's a crack on the top lid. I'm hoping that if you need to take it apart and you don't know how, YouTube it. But as you can see here, there's a crack. And that's where the hinge connects to the top of this plastic. Now a lot of times people will open the lid of the laptop by the edge. My theory is to open it from the center and that'll distribute all the pressure evenly on these hinges and the weak point of the plastic. So if I JB weld this hinge on, then when I put the back on, I'm going to have enough clearance for that glue to flow around the edges. So maybe that'll be okay. Uh, I'm going to glue the hinge. I think if I just flood this area in here. Really? There we go. I figured out that the uh, this screw here goes in when I put the back lid on. So these two screws here, I don't want to make that mistake. And this time we're going to mix a little bit more. And I got 15 minutes or more to play. This is start setting up after about 15. And we're going to use a good amount. We're, I'm, somebody. And the idea is to pot the whole thing enough that it creates a good solid surface area of goop. Close it up. Get the screws in there. Not that one. What I want to do is flip it over and let it run back. Let gravity kind of take over. Give it that a minute. Looks pretty good. Should hold up. Been a few minutes. Nothing dripped down. Looks pretty good. Whoa. Yeah. Nothing came over the sides. Thank goodness. <gasps> Let's get that battery back into its connector. Yep. And then we need to get a little stickies back in. Like I was saying with these, you need to push that way, otherwise you're going to have leftovers. Okay, now the key is to basically leave it alone, which I'm going to leave alone overnight. Does that look blue? Really? It's purple. So, leave this alone overnight, then I'll come back, open it up. And what I was trying to show you earlier about opening a laptop, a lot of people will go from here and lift it up when you should, right from the center, lift it up. Because when you lift it up from an edge, it puts pressure on these one of the two hinges here and causes more stress than what the system is capable of handling, especially since this cotton picking thing is being held in, the hinges are being held into plastic. And that's never any good. So I'll be back. I'll just add to this video as a bonus, uh, I have a fan to replace in a laptop. You seriously, that's, I mean, that's not what I ordered. He's full of shit. Hmm. Well, 
Fine. Let's take it apart and see what happens. Well, that needs to be cleaned out. Nothing a little Clorox Plus and a hose connected to my sink in the back. Okay, here we go again. I'll tell you, it doesn't look like this one. And that was the exact model that I ordered. Oh, you're killing me. Might be able to retrofit it if... Oh, man. You put the wrong one online. Alright, so I'm going to have to make some adjustments here. This might be a uh, call for a different video. Let's see what kind of wackiness that goes there and fits in. And I think that'll be okay too. Yeah, I'm going to have to chop this puppy down. And you know what? That's okay. I think it's going to work. <clears throat> that'll work. I just need to get rid of this. Phew. Time to high speed. Alright, see what kind of trouble I can get into here. Because I've got aluminum tape. Well, I think it's going to work. I think it is. I think it's going to work. You know, I might have another tool. Now, if I can find something to plug into. We're getting there. I think we're in the pocket. We're good. Now, let me clean this. Nice and clean. We're going to use a little bit of Goo Gone and a Q-tip to get up the old CPU paste and repaste it again. And that's going to be fine. Let's get a little bit of ice, ice, baby. Cooler Master puts this out. It's like uh, gold. And let's use a toothpick, clean one. Aluminum tape. A <laughs> perfect fit. Uh, screw it. There we go. Aluminum tape. Oh, there we go. We all learn late and feel for you. And so here we go. And like I said, when you're using aluminum tape, put your finger behind it and it'll prevent it from rolling up and becoming unusable. And let's say, let's say we just go ahead and overlap a little bit because to make sure we got a relatively good seal. And that, my friend, is good enough. That's solid. It's more than one way to skin a chicken. 
There you go. Put it back together. So let's check and see if we get fan spin. And we have fan spin. Can you see it? Fan spin. Mmm, I feel warm air. That's good. All right, had me worried there for a second. So let's shut it down proper. Of course, we're running one to seven, but he uses it for business, so pro. And uh, this video was two in one. And as always, I hope you learned something. I know I did. Give me a thumbs up. You don't even have to subscribe. Just give me a thumbs up. Hello, little granddaughter. Hi. Are you Hi, doing the video? David. Yeah, I'm just finishing up on it, and we are still recording as we speak. Oh. And okay. what, would, what would you like to do, little girl? I was thinking if you could hook, after you're done with the video, you could hook me up doing Roblox. Well, I can stop the video right now and allow me to repeat. You know, I hope you learned something. You got two videos for the price of one. And just for that, what you need to do is, God help you if you subscribe, just uh, give me a thumbs up. That's what uh, YouTube recognizes. And as always, excuse me for repeating, but I hope you learned something because I know I did. Yes, what? Hi. Oh, was that what? How'd you? What the? Hi. Hi. <laughs>